What is up guys? Thanks for watching another video. As you can tell from the title in today's video, we are going to be doing a custom boot install. You can see I have some wood behind me there. At first I wasn't going to do sound in this car, purely because of the weight that we will be adding when we're doing sound. But a couple months down the line and I miss having a proper sound system. So not that I had a proper sound system in the Clue or in the Tiguan. But I had a proper sound system in the Polo back in the day and I honestly miss that. It's not going to be a massive sound system, it's just going to have a bit of bass just to, to get the lack of feels in the car when you're listening to your music, you know? We will be installing this Pioneer Sub uh, Star Sound Amp. We've got a wiring kit and then we will be building our own box. Uh, I will show you guys how I got to the measurements of the box, how I did that. And we have a couple of supplies. The reason for wanting a custom boot install, the floor in this car is terrible. I don't know what's the story here, but you can see it looks terrible and it's not very sturdy. It just it's not very sturdy so we are going to be taking this out and the nice thing about these Hondas is that the old boot is a spare wheel well I am obviously going to clean this up before we install the sound but my plan is to build a custom box that sits in there then we will be lifting the floor a couple of mils but then we will still have a flat floor and I'll be trying to mount this up there in the back so we still have this section to load the boot because as you guys know, I do daily drive this car. I suspect this car had sound before. Um, I'm going to strip the interior to start with the wiring. And then once I get to strip out here at the back, we'll be able to see if it had sound in before. But regardless, I am going to take that wiring out. If there is wiring, I'm going to be installing my own wiring. Before we start stripping this interior, if you guys are excited for custom boot install, I'm gonna show you step by step how I do this. I've never done this before. So bear with me, but if you guys are excited for that, give this video a like right now and let's start stripping this interior out. We finally have everything stripped out. We will have all of this cleaned up in three, two, one. Okay, so what took a split second for you guys, took me off a day to clean up all of this. With all the panels on the sides and everything is now cleaned up in the back. I'm happy with that. So we can finally move on to the wiring. Like I told you before, the car had sound in. The wiring is right there, so I'm going to remove that and put my own wiring in, connected to the radio, connected to the battery, so that all the wiring is here in the boot, and then we can finally start building the sub box. After careful consideration, I've decided that I'm going to run the power wire on the passenger side of the car 
and the RCA is in the remote wire on the driver's side of the car just to make sure that there's absolutely no interference whenever we switch on the system. The next day. It is currently day two of the install. Yesterday we got all the wiring done. This morning we are going to start on the sub box. This is where the fun starts building the sub box. So if I did not explain it properly yesterday, what we are going to do is we are going to raise the floor of the boot make it sit higher so the only thing when you open up the boot that you will see is the face of the subwoofer everything else will be hidden underneath so i'm going to build a box and then the floor of the box or the top of the box will be the floor of the boot and that's where our subwoofer will sit and the amp and everything else will be underneath the floor that is going to be a lot cleaner if I can put it like that, when you open up the boot, there's no clutter, nothing. You'll just see the top of the subwoofer and that's going to be it. When you buy a subwoofer on the back of the box, you'll get the recommended uh, dimensions of the box that you need to use. So what I did is I used a website called Subbox Pro is the website. So basically you, you enter all your details there like the volume and the length, the width, the height, everything you put it in there and from there on they'll show you how to build your box. Where's the cursor? So that is what the box is going to look like now. I was able to manipulate it to get the box to sit a bit flatter than the recommended uh, specs on the back of the subwoofer because that would be too high meaning our floor would sit above the how can i put it where the boot closes so when you open up the boot the floor will sit higher than that i'm going to start assembling the box now we will be using uh, wood glue to seal it or to to put the sides together and then from there on i am going to drill some holes and put some wood screws in there and then we'll seal the inside put some stuff on the inside to line the box nicely to help with the low base frequencies and basically just going to take it from there and wing it like i said i've never done this before so we're basically just going to wing it this entire process i'm most nervous about the floor to get the shape of the floor but we need to build the box first so i can see how high it's going to sit in the boot and then we can build the floor from there let me show you what the what the boot looks like at the moment all cleaned up and wired up ready to go So that is what we have, it's a bit of a mess here now, but we have the RCA's, the power and the ground. We just need to connect it to the amplifier. You cannot see it, it's too dark, but the bass control sits in there. So if you need to adjust the bass, you can flip this open, adjust it and close it back up. While the glue is drying, I just finished putting this up together, they so I need to leave it for an hour. But while this is drying, I'm going to put these screws in on all the joints. So I'll put in a couple there from the top, I'll put in a couple there, there and everywhere. But I'm first going to use a drill to drill a small pilot hole so that once we put the screw in, that it, it does not misalign itself or anything funny.
as you can see behind me, I have the cut out of the floor. I am not able to get it in the car. The shape of this thing is extremely funny and I think that's why the backboard that was in there is so flimsy as well because it's there's so many shapes and stuff and the speakers at the back makes it difficult to, to fit something big in there. So what I was thinking the next big so what I was thinking the next best plan is going to be to cut off one corner like that. Then we can take that corner out. If you are struggling to get it in now, I can't even get it in the boot. There's no space. So if the box is still attached to this, it's going to be way worse. So I'm going to cut a line here and put this in the boot and then see what that bit looks like. Unfortunately, we have no other choice but to do it that way. line up perfectly this section sits perfect and if I put this in it sits perfect too it's difficult to keep it there but I'll try and show you because I must still do the foot pieces that'll keep it in shape but if you check there that's kind of perfect there is a bit of gap there but um once we once we cover this with the felt it's basically the same material as this more or less once we cover it it should cover the gaps quite perfect what i'm going to do now is glue the foot pieces in and then we can take this out and then we can finish up our subbox put some lining in uh, get the port sorted for where the the remote or the, the speaker wire is going through the box we can put that in and then i need to cut a a hole in there and put some supports for the box at the bottom and all in all just a couple small pieces but then it should be perfect sealed up what we are going to do next is we are going to add this in the box this just helps with low frequency so I'm going to cover the whole inside of the box with Jenkim and then we'll pad the whole box before we put the sub in Just like that, our custom boot install is now done. This is the final product. I must be honest, I'm super happy with how it came out. Like I told you guys, it's my first time ever doing this. 
and I honestly think it's flawless. I don't have any issues with this. I was listening to some music last night. It plays absolutely phenomenal. I'm super happy. If I had to do this again, I don't think I would have done anything different. One thing that I would like to change in the future is the head unit. I bought the car with this head unit. Not a big fan. It's a reference audio. I don't even know what model, but I'm not a big fan of that. So in the future, I might just change that. But for now, I'm extremely happy with this. The bass is perfect. It sounds amazing. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this system. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it. I'll see you in the next one, bro. Peace out and reflect your passion.